Hi, I'm Ken O'Keefe from The Ultimate Suspension. As the name implies, ultimate, best suspension money can buy. But we don't only do R&D on suspensions. Today, we're going to do an R&D on an intercooler into the popular Toyota High Ace. With an intercooler, one of the most important factors is the pressure drop. So what we're going to do today is put two gauges on, one before and one after the intercooler, so that we can actually measure how much the pressure does drop. Now we have the two boost gauges installed, one on the inlet, one on the outlet. We're ready to take it for a test drive and see how much pressure drop there is. Okay, now we're back from the test drive and it's been recorded. Quite a large pressure drop, 4 PSI on a short run. So now what we're going to do is install the HDI intercooler and do exactly the same. Now, a good intercooler not only increases performance, but increases the economy. With the reduction of heat, a better burn. As you can see from the setup of the boost gauges, the HDI improves boost response to achieve maximum boost pressure in a shorter time. As you can see below, the original higher boost required to reach the same boost level as the HDI. In short, the turbo does not have to work as hard. So now you've seen what the boost shows, let's see what the customer says. All right guys, um, we've just installed the um, H2I intercooler upgrade for the uh, 1KD uh, 2015 high ace turbo diesel. It's a uh, automatic and the only thing that I've really done to this vehicle is ECU reflash. You know, it's been amazing. However, you know, I came across Roger and he, and he mentioned the um, HDMI intercooler. You know, so I thought I'd give that a go. And uh, the results are pretty good, uh, needless to say. You know, the bottom to top end, it's uh, improved uh, significantly for the uh, drivability. And usually under load, um, it will just run out of puff and uh, it, will, it will feel as though there's nothing more to give. Whereas with the new intercooler installed, it's just made a big difference in that. It just keeps, um, just keeps pulling and there's uh, power throughout the whole rev range. So it's made a big difference. Uh, if you're thinking about getting it done, I'd highly recommend it because the uh, factory intercooler is quite restrictive. So right now we're, we're sitting on about 600 uh, kilometers on uh, average for fuel economy. That's with uh, mixed uh, city and highway driving with about 300 kilos in the uh, cargo area. It's a lot better than what factory is, but you know, I'm, I'm quite curious actually to see the, um, the uh, economy from the uh, better efficiency from the uh, intercooler. So, you know, stay tuned and uh, I'll let you know next time. Thomas, welcome back. Thanks, Ken. That's the way. How long has it been since we first started? Uh, roughly about three to four months time. So that's given you plenty of time to test drive the vehicle, do a comparison, yes. and come back and advise us what difference you've noticed. Ah, um, massive difference. Like um, in terms of um, economy, efficiency, and um, you know drivability, it has enhanced uh, current Dynatune a lot better. Great. Yep. But the main thing, like we get you back at the three months just to do a final check to make sure everything's all right. Yes. But as you've said, you've got in increased performance, reliability, yep. service. Now, the economy, you've had a good jump in economy. That's yes. great. Yep. And when people are looking at getting an intercooler, they've, because there's so many different things out there, yep. people worry, they think, oh, I'm spending this money. Mm. What am I really getting from it? Yep. And as you said yourself, you're a little bit reluctant at first. I was, yeah. I, I didn't think I didn't think it'd uh, do much because it's a stock stock engine, you know, not not modern or anything. The only thing I've done was the uh, Dynatune, mm -hmm. uh, just to create efficiency. And I thought that, that was as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, the Dynatune would have made a difference. Yep. And with the inner cooler on top of the Dynatune. Yes. How much more difference did it make, the percentage-wise? Oh, big difference. So, um, if you're talking in terms of uh, fuel economy, mm. it was a uh, big difference. So, if you talk, uh, you know, driving conservatively on a flat road highway, I was averaging 8.4 liters per 100 kilometers, mm -hmm. and this was doing like a 300-kilometer trip as well. 
and um, right. you know, 400, three to 400 kilograms in the uh, back cargo as well. You know, so you're talking with a well, over a two-ton vehicle, so it's pretty good. And these aren't right. exactly the best aerodynamic shape. No, no, no. You're driving a brick yeah, into pretty, the air. Pretty much, yeah. So <laughs> when you get good performance, better yep. economy, yep. and like you mentioned there before, the extra performance, now that would help you if you have to overtake. Yeah, 100%. But also it would give you confidence that yep. the vehicle can stay at a speed if yep. you're on a steep climb. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. when you back off, yep. you know that you can put your foot back down yep. with instant power. Yep. Because more air getting in, better yep. cooling. Yep and the combustion's better, so the vehicle's just gonna run better, run safer, longevity of the engine. Yep. You've insured better performance. Yeah, definitely, I totally agree with that. <laughs> Good on Thanks, you. Thanks, Ken. Thank you. Thank you.